We are opening our first ever Funko Pop mystery box from Funko 411. So check this out. What is going on everyone? Welcome back. My name is Jeremy. I'm gonna say it again. This is gonna be a fun one. I know I say it like every single time, but this one, it's a first one. So we've never bought from this company before, but I've seen plenty of really great videos on the Funko 411. So we are gonna be opening our first ever mystery box from them today, or from him, I guess I should say. Um, so this is called the No Brainer Mystery Box. It's a little old. I think it's from, yeah, February 29th. So not, not crazy old, but um, this was $80 a box. The, the run was called the No Brainer Mystery Box because it's a no brainer, obviously, duh. But yeah, 35 boxes in this run, um, guaranteed overvalue. I believe it's a damage run if I'm not mistaken, but yeah, overvalue, I, and I forgot to write it down. I know, shame on me. Shame, 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 but I forgot to write it down. I believe there's six pops in each box. I believe so, but guaranteed overvalue, uh, guaranteed one pictured pop. So I'll put that picture up. You know, I'm going to do it. Uh, pictured pops. Ideally what I, I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know. Let me look at my notes again. Any of the myths pops, those would be cool any of the NFTs, except for Winslow. He's at the bottom, I believe, like way at the bottom. <sighs> Nothing against Winslow. He's a funny character, great show, but we already have him. So, you know, the, any, I think there was a Power Rangers NFT and um, a Huckleberry Hound, maybe Hanna-Barbera one, maybe? Was that right? Hmm? I don't know. The John Hammond from Jurassic Park. But ideally the one that I would like to pull it's way at the bottom of the picture, the Taz Chase from Space Jam. I actually almost missed it. I didn't see it until I was like swiping to the next picture that I'm gonna show you, which is other possible hits. So um, possible hits in this one. So these aren't guaranteed hits, but like the Phantom Shadow from Scooby-Doo, love it. I don't have it yet. I should have it because it's not a crazy expensive pop, but it's awesome and I don't have it. So I'd love that one. Uh, the surfing Mikey from Ninja Turtles. I think it's Michelangelo. It's kind of hard to tell in the picture, but I'm pretty sure it's Michelangelo. That'd be really cool. I like those surfing Ninja Turtle pops. And then, oh, what was the other one? The invisible Frodo from Lord of the Rings, the Barnes and Noble exclusive. We don't have that one yet. We're trying to finish all the Lord of the Rings, Lord, blah, 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 Lord of the Rings, the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> We're almost done with it. I think we have nine or 10 pops. And we need the Chase Frodo. This has nothing to do with this mystery box opening, but you got me talking about completing a set that we're almost finished with. We actually, sorry, that was very aggressive. We actually have one coming on the way in the mail because I found it for, I'll explain when it gets here. You know what? No spoilers, no spoilers. But yeah, we got the box right here. This is a big one. Again, like I said, six pops. Pretty sure. Pretty sure there's six in here. So yeah, if I could choose one, if I could choose one pop to pull out of this, it would be the, yeah, the, the, the Chase Taz. That would be cool. That would be really neat. Or, so I've been doing like Funko Shorts with like uh, letters of the alphabet and I'm on the letter Q. I figured it's a good conversation piece while I'm cutting into the box. And I've discovered that I have no, uh, did I say number? Did I say number Q or did I say letter Q? Cause Q is not a number. Man, I don't know if I, if I just made a complete idiot of myself, which wouldn't be the first time, but yeah, we have no pops that start with the letter Q. So I'm like, I wouldn't mind the pop in this run that starts with the letter Q. That'd be fine. All right, let me try to figure out what we got going on here. We got some bubble wrap we're popping. Let's rip this. Man, this is, I'm trying not to look, but I'm trying to rip the bubble wrap too. Packaged very nicely. All right, I'm gonna tip it on its side just in case I do peek. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna peek, I promise. No peeking. I think they're all in protectors. 
Mm, that's pretty good. Yeah, they're, I'm pretty sure they're all. So we're just gonna do the top row first. I know you can't see the box, but I've got it on its side. So we're gonna do top row, right to left because it's easier to pull the right side. I don't know, maybe that doesn't make sense. Anyways, let's do the first pop if I can get it out. It is indeed in a protector. All right, first pop. Okay, so this should be the front. Let's go, three, two, one. Batman Returns, oh yeah, this is not bad. Oops, sorry. Batman Returns, The Penguin. I haven't seen this Batman movie in a very long time, but who knows, maybe, uh, isn't the next, The Batman, like with Robert Pattinson, isn't the next one gonna be about The Penguin? So who knows, maybe, maybe these will do something. I doubt this is crazy valuable, but I don't, you know, I might be making this up when I said it, it's a damage run. I don't remember for sure. I'll double check. That's not a bad start. I enjoy Batman. I don't collect Batman, but you can never go wrong with a Batman pop. That one was heavy too, man, for such a little guy. <laughs> All right, second pop. So top middle, three, two, one. Fro hey, okay. I know this is not a crazy expensive pop, but I don't have this one yet. This one is, this is great. <laughs> That's probably a bad joke. Tony the Tiger. I love ad icons. This is an ad icon. This is Funko Shop exclusive. I'm, I'm pretty sure that this one is not, this, is, this might be under retail. I know this one did not. It's kind of like the retro vintage look, Tony the Tiger. And I don't think this one did that well. So I don't think that one, I don't, I don't think we're gonna be too good on that, which is fine, because I'm keeping it. I love it, that's awesome. Surprisingly, we don't have a lot of ad icons. So when I get one that we can add, that we can add. <laughs> All right, third pop, three, two, one. Jurassic World, okay. Kayla from Jurassic World. These pops, <clears throat> which one is this? Jurassic World Dominion. Was this the last movie? Yeah. Okay. I've said this before on the channel a while ago when I pulled another Jurassic World pop. I begged and begged and begged my wife to watch this movie with me. We finally watched it. I love the Jurassic Park movies. I love the first Jurassic World. The second one was okay. So I was like, man, I gotta watch that. It was bad. It was a bad movie. It, there was a lot of it that didn't really make sense. But anyways, Jurassic Park, love it. Jurassic Park movies are awesome. I even like Jurassic Park 3. All right, let's see. So this is the bottom row, the far right one. Let's see what we got on this one. So that's not a great, I don't think that one's gonna be very, very valuable. All right, fourth pop, three, two, one. Oh, a chase. I think this was actually in the, was this in the, this was in the second picture I showed, I'm pretty sure. This is cool. Is this from the movie or the game? It's from the movie because it's the pop line. Duh, it says movies. But is this now what I want? Okay, it is from the newer movie, which is actually not bad. I know a lot of people didn't really enjoy it. But, I mean, if you can get past the, uh, there's a lot of language in it, but I enjoyed, I like, I like it, the new Mortal Kombat. So that's cool, Scorpion. Scorpion, ch sorry guys, I almost dropped it. Scorpion Chase. Yeah, I mean, I know it's the new movie because it's got Cole, which it's not It's not bad. Like, I enjoy it. it Mortal Kombat was like, it holds a nostalgic spot for me. Like, I used to watch it a lot as a kid, which is kind of crazy because it's, it's, it's pretty, it's not a kid's movie. All right, anyways, uh, fifth pop, three, two, one. Chili Willy, Chili, you know what? I don't know what Chili Willy's from. Was this in the picture? Chili Willy with pancakes. This must have been like an old cartoon. It's cute. It's a cute one. I like it. I don't know much about it. It must be an old, must be an old cartoon. This might be our top hit because it's the only one with a card in it. Or maybe he just put, I don't know. That's cool though, I like that one. All right, last pop. 
This, I don't remember seeing it in the picture, but again, I wasn't looking for it. All right, let's toss the box aside. I don't want to look down though. All right. Yeah, that might've been in the picture. I don't remember because I wasn't really looking for it. So it could be, it could have been, it, it had good, good value on the bottom and it's the only one that had value that I noticed. All right, well, let's do the last pop. Let's go three, two, one. Oh, this is funny. Oh, it's the official con sticker too. That's cool. Moe's Schrute. So this is Dwight Schrute's brother. <laughs> we have this pop already, but we have the uh, shared sticker. So that's cool. That's neat. You know what? This is not bad. This is a this is a solid box. Nothing crazy, but I mean, you got six pops for 80 bucks. You can't expect a ton, you know, but this was, this is cool. I love official convention stickers. So this is from 2021, New York Comic Con. So yeah, it's got a little bit of weird, I don't know if I'd call that box damage. Like that's just manufacturing. It's got a little bit of a, that's neat though. I love, I'm not a, I'm not like a crazy sticker person. Like it doesn't have to be like, I'm not like official convention sticker or go away. Like, but I do enjoy them. They're very cool. That's a neat one. Yeah, we did all right, I think. We've got a few collection pieces. My wife collects the Office Pops. We got the Tony the Tiger. We got Chili Willy, who I'm gonna have to figure out who Chili Willy even is. But we got the Chase. Really, the only one that I'm not super thrilled about was the Jurassic World. So five out of six weren't terrible. And three out of six were really good. So let's check the values on these and we will be right back. Okay, we are back with some values. Yeah, this did not disappoint at all. So let's break them down. This was a really good box. Like, like I said at the beginning, we've opened, or we've, correction. We have never opened one, but I've seen plenty of people open their boxes. So when I saw that they, Funko, the Funko 411 when he was doing another run, I was like, man, I'm gonna jump into it because it's always great. And this was really good. So let's break them down. So yeah, as expected, like I said, Tony the Tiger, the Funko Shop exclusive, I knew it wasn't worth much, $11. So yeah, but honestly, for like a collection edition, this might be my favorite hit of the day. Lowest pop of the day might be my most favorite. I haven't decided yet. We'll decide as we're working through these. Now the Kayla from Jurassic World from Jurassic World Dominion. Yeah, yep, 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 mm-hmm. This one actually surprised me. $19, right? Yeah, 19 bucks. So not crazy expensive, but usually when you pull Jurassic World Pop, it's like under 10. So that, that one surprised me. Now, a couple of these really surprised me. I'm sorry I'm looking at my, my notes, but there's a few pops here, you know? So the Penguin. Batman Returns. Was this Danny DeVito? Did he play the Penguin? It's been a long time since I've seen the older Batman movies. When did this come out? 2020. This one is heavy. Like this is a really heavy one. So this one was $21. That actually really surprised me. I was expecting it to be like 15, under 15. Okay. Scorpion, Chase, really cool. So the normal one, this is kind of one of those situations where the normal one's almost cooler because it's got his mask on it. And Scorpion and Sub-Zero are kind of known for their masks. So, but the chase is him unmasked. Uh, 25 bucks, not bad, not bad at all. That one, I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or use it for trade. Um, or since we're talking about it, Maybe I'll put it in a Patreon mystery box. Go check out our Patreon. We do monthly mystery boxes. Also, like the video, subscribe to the channel. But yeah, let's move on. That was a, that was a pretty good plug, right? <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right. Um, oh, wrong order. Wrong order. Now, Chili Willy. Had the price on the bottom. Uh, Chili Willy, 30 bucks. That's pretty good. That's actually really good. $30 pop. And it's cute too. This guy or girl, I'm not really sure, is adorable. Really cool. So $30 is not bad for that one. Now, our top hit of the day 
was Moe's Schrute. Really, Dwight Schrute's brother. I'm pretty sure it's his brother. Um, yeah, it, it, it's funny. He's, he's hilarious. But official convention sticker, $31. So that really actually, I know this is going to sound weird because like, Usually convention sticker official ones are like way more expensive, but the office pops, they don't really, a lot of them don't really have good value for either one. So $31 for an office pop with an official convention sticker is actually, that's pretty good. So 31 bucks, I'll take it. And like I said, my wife collects the office pops. So yeah, that's, that's awesome. So you're probably dying to know our total box value was... Wait, I had to look, $137. That is nuts. We paid 80 bucks for it. So we are ahead $57. The Funko 411, highly recommend next time he does a mystery box drop to jump on it. Like, just do it. Get one of his boxes. Maybe I should say not sponsored because I'm not sponsored by anyone. Not yet, at least. Maybe one day, we'll see. But yeah. I don't know. Favorite pop of the day. What do you think? Uh, I know, like I said, it's the cheapest, lowest, least valuable pop. Tony the Tiger is going to have to do it for me, though. But yeah, that was fun. I really like this box. We actually got quite a few pieces that we'll keep. Like, in that, for a six pop box, that's a pretty good. Like, if you can get, because we're going to keep Tony the Tiger for sure. Most Shrew will keep for sure. Um, I'll probably end up keeping the Scorpion for a while. I'm not sure. And Chili Willy I'm actually going to keep too. Because, I mean, it's a penguin. You got to keep it. So yeah, Tony the Tiger is my favorite hit. Let me know what your favorite hit was. And just thank you for watching the video. Thank you for taking time to watch the video. I realize that you have to like actually stop what you're doing to watch my videos. And it means the world to me. It really does. So just like the video, subscribe to the channel. I already asked you the question, you know, what's your favorite hit of the day? Let me know if you've ever bought a Funko 411 box. This was fun. And then just enjoy your day. Remember to be kind to each other and remember to smile.